If you're looking for a 12 gauge shotgun to defend yourself against terrorists who may want to chop off your head like the ISIL, there's 50,000 of them that want to chop your head off. So you need to have a shotgun in your house. Now Joe Biden says you should have a double barrel shotgun, but don't be fooled. You will really want a semi-automatic or a pump shotgun. And these are the two best models out in the market today. One is the Browning and the other is the Remington 870. They each have good characteristics for self-defense. First and foremost, let me explain, you need to have a gun with an 18-inch barrel. This barrel looks like it's not 18, but it really is. If you were to run a dowel down through the barrel, all the way to the end over here, it would come up at about 18 and a half to 18 and three quarter inches. So it is a legal gun. A good short gun in the house is a good gun to have around because it can get around corners easy and can shoot through walls, it can shoot through doors, and you can you don't have to be back as far as you need to be back to shoot the browning with a longer barrel. Now, I like the Browning because the Browning can put five shells in there. They're a two and three quarter inch shell and high brass. And it pull, you pull the trigger and the, the shell comes out. With the pump shotgun, you actually have to use two hands to shoot it. So you have to have one hand on the trigger and one hand on the, uh, the pump to activate another shell into the chamber. So they both are, are very good guns for self-defense. Now, as I say, the one I, I would prefer is the Browning, but it does have a longer barrel. And inside a building, that's not as good an idea as a shorter barrel. I like a shorter barrel inside. So when you're picking out a gun for self-defense, these are the two for shotguns that I would choose. I've had that Browning for a number of years, and I've used it many, many times. And I can tell you, it's got great action. It's my favorite shotgun. It really puts the lead out. You pull the trigger, and you have confidence that it's going to work. The uh, 870 is a good gun as well. It has good, clean action, and I like that one too. But uh, I like the ability to have, you know, just to have one hand free and one hand to operate the gun, and that, that, that would be the Browning. But as I say, inside a building, the shorter barrel is much better and more effective, and I would never want to cut my Browning barrel down. So this is Bill at Highland Hill Farm, and if you're interested in hunting, we do have a hunting program at Highland Hill where you bring us a uh, post or some other item and you can hunt for the day. We have deer hunting here and uh, we have four different farms in Bucks County that you can hunt on. And again, we do do a lot of bartering, so we like to do a barter for hunts. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm. These are the hose reels that hunters brought to Highland Hill Farm to hunt for a day last year. We used them to roll up our drip irrigation lines in our field so that we can reuse them. The hunters brought us a hose reel to hunt for the day. And they could hunt deer, turkeys, groundhogs, rabbits, doves, you know, just not our foxes. This year our hunting special is if you bring us a 6 by 6 by 12 foot pressure treated locust or cedar fence post you can hunt for the day if you get a deer you get three more free days if you get two deer in any part of the season you get to hunt for free for the rest of the season and I pay you $25 so once again this year we have another special going but this year it's for fence posts so if you want to hunt at Highland Hill Farm we do appreciate you coming, and we do have lots of deer. In fact, yesterday I saw an eight-point buck. It was not a big-bodied buck, but an eight-point buck, and it was only like 25 feet away, so they're nice and friendly. So you can stick them with an arrow or hit them with a hammer. It doesn't matter. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329.